Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. We've got the latest update 2020.12.5, which brings a whole bunch of new features, dash cam viewer, new launch mode, out of order supercharging stalls, as well as some additional features that are also undocumented. Let's jump into it right now. jump right into it right now 2020.12.5 a lot of new features we'll start with the documented ones and then we'll talk about the undocumented ones first up we have the out of order supercharger stalls this is pretty basic this just says that hey supercharger stations now identify the number of out of order stalls that way when you're trying to travel to a supercharger you don't get surprised when you get there that one stall is out of order so this is pretty cool but it's also very simple okay the next thing we want to talk about is the dash cam viewer this is a really really great feature for a lot of different reasons i'll talk about both the documented and undocumented here uh, but the first of which is the fact that you can now view your sentry mode clips and your dash cam clips while in your car on the touchscreen. this is a highly requested feature from all the owners because the process before this was pretty laborious you would get a sentry mode event you'd get the alert on the dashboard uh, but you wouldn't be able to view it until you took the usb out and then brought it into a computer and then loaded up the clips and then you have to go through each clip one by one. So this is a really, really big game changer for a lot of different reasons. I'll start to jump into them right now. So first, let's take a look at what this looks like. The dash cam viewer now adds new functionality. So now this allows you to press this button to save a footage instead of pressing and holding or pressing once, which is what it used to be. You can now press this button you'll get the drop down menu and this allows you to one press here for saving footage which is which is better than actually pressing the button because sometimes when you're driving it's hard to find that button and that's where the honk to capture footage came into play but then also you now have an integrated viewer where you can launch this here okay this launches on its own it starts playing the latest clips it starts with the front camera and whatever camera is playing this icon is grayed out the thumbnail effectively is grayed out and then the ones that are available to play are here. So you can start to play them like this, okay? So this is really, really cool because it starts to incorporate a lot of the concepts that they're using for autopilot, which is using a 360 blended view of all the cameras as opposed to taking each individual clip one by one, okay? So as this progresses, all the clips are progressing simultaneously. So you can switch at whatever moment in time that you stop at for all the different cameras. And as they as it progresses and as it plays, all the different cameras are playing. So this really gives you that 360 view as you're driving of what the experience is like. And again, this is what they're gonna be using for autopilot and full self-driving. And the enhancements to that is using all the cameras together simultaneously to paint one unified uh, 360 picture to be able to use for autopilot. So now what's gonna happen is now your car has an integrated system that allows you to be able to have a dash cam presence inside the car built into the car it comes with your car all you need to do is buy the storage for it and let it go from there and not having to have to buy a third party system do do some additional wiring that may or may not void your warranty this is really game changing a lot of companies a lot of car companies are going to start to try to catch up in this regard so kudos to tesla for doing this in addition to that uh the player itself specifically for the model s and x with the vertical screen uh, it's not able to be moved. You can't stack things on top of it. You can put the menu on top of it. If you try to put the camera on top of it, it also won't work. It automatically closes it and again launches it. Uh, the functionality for the for the dash cam also works the, pretty much the same way it did before in terms of you pressing and holding to pause. And it also automatically pauses while the, the camera is being shown here, while the player is being shown here because it's using the USB to read. Uh, and potentially delete files as you see the delete button here so it doesn't allow you to record while you're watching the videos here you also see that instead of saving by the date and time which it did before it actually just now saves by the location and then the date and time so that's another another cool feature one of the other things that this is really good for and a lot of people are not talking about this is that this is now tesla's first integrated media player in the car and again what makes this awesome is that tesla's built it and allows them to be able to read video footage from the USB drive and plug it in here. So what that opens up the possibility of is the possibility of them being able to play effectively other videos from a USB drive, offline media effectively. So if you're in an area where you don't wanna get the premium upgrades package and you don't wanna be able to stream your media or you can't because connectivity is poor, you would have the ability potentially to play videos off of a USB drive or a hard drive in your car offline. 
So that's pretty cool. That opens up the door for this because this is again, Tesla's own integrated browser for video. One of the other features here that's pretty prominent uh, in this release, it's not listed in this particular car, is the new launch mode. This is highlighted specifically for the Raven Performance Model S and Model X, where it will call out those in the release notes. So it's documented for those cars, it's undocumented for other performance vehicles, okay? And that means that as I put, as I put the car in drive or put the car into uh, a drive state, and then I go into my driving mode, I can toggle Ludacris Plus on, get the animation, of course. Okay. And here's a new dialogue. It's no longer red and blue like it was before, but it's still the same concept. Yes, bring it on. It's gonna tell me my battery is heating, but then now it says how to use launch mode. This is a new thing. And when I press this, this is effectively what's in the release notes for the Raven Performance Model S and Model X as a part of the release notes, undocumented for other performance variants uh, pre-Raven, okay? So this is just telling you that there's a new launch mode. This is the way it works. Firmly press your foot on the brake, okay? Fully press the accelerator and then release to launch. Okay, we're gonna try this in a little bit, but this is again, a new uh, way to launch the car. Before you had to hold the, the brake pedal first, push down once on the accelerator to activate it, then push down the accelerator again to go into a launch. All right, so let's take this out really quickly and we'll we'll be able to show you what that looks like. All right, so we're here in a vacant parking lot, no active cars, uh, no other people are here. Obviously, everyone's in quarantine. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do the launch mode just to see what it looks like. I'm not gonna go to full 60, but I'm just gonna see if the what the difference is in staging the launch. Okay, so I'm gonna do what they say. I'll firmly press my foot on the brake. I'll press down the accelerator. Launch mode enabled, and then go. Wheel spin, but I got it. Okay, nice. Now it says for this that you should have your your uh, suspension to low. And I believe in the Raven models with the adaptive dampening and their new Raven suspension setup, it automatically goes to low, okay? But this is actually kind of cool uh, just because it allows you to, to see, to do it in a much more controlled way. So I'm gonna first put myself down to low in this particular setting, I'll go low. Okay, I'm in low. Again, much easier to launch. I'm gonna to try to hold it this time to see how long it lasts, all right? So I'll go down, hold my foot down, launch mode enabled. I can hear it staging. It also lowers down. Wow, okay pretty long so actually what it actually looks like and felt like this car seems to be doing that cheetah stance that we talked about for the raven models where the car starts to lower down even further so i already have it in low suspension setting so if you can pay attention here as i push down the brake and go on the pedal it's staging a little bit of a noise and then i'm launching wow that's much better that's much better wow awesome just a quick example of that, all right? So I'm not gonna go into full detail here because uh, Brooks from Drag Time, shout out to Brooks from Drag Time. He did a great video on the new uh, launch mode, the documented version of that with a Raven Performance Model S. Take a look at his video, I'll link it down below, but otherwise this is pretty cool. Okay, so that was fun. Um, let's talk about some more undocumented features that are here in this particular release. All right, so one of the biggest ones in terms of rumors and gossip and, and things that are going on on social media is the fact that uh, MGM, uh, the film distribution company, um, came after Tesla for its use of HAL 9000 uh, from Space Odyssey, which was the icon that they used for Century Mode previously, where the big red eye comes up here and you also have a little red eye up here. Uh, and so they basically did a cease and desist on them. I don't know if they actually sued them and went through the process of it, but basically they said, hey, you can't use this particular IP. It belongs to us, you didn't license it, so now uh, Tesla had to now change it. So what they've done now is they've changed the UI for Sentry Mode to a different character. This one from the game Portal, uh, using the, the robot from the game Portal. And that icon can be seen here, a small version of it here, and then when Sentry Mode is activated, you'll see the larger one come up as well. 
Okay, so this is a little undocumented change. They're not saying too much about it because obviously it's embarrassing to get called out like that on the IP use. Um, so they're probably not going to make too big of a deal of it, but it's sort of undocumented, a new Sentry Mode icon. It's not here in the release notes at all, um, nothing like that. So it's an undocumented feature. So that is what's happening right now. That's the latest update. Those are the new features, both documented and undocumented. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about this update, if you've got it, if you've not got it, or if you've noticed any other undocumented changes that we haven't shown today. Okay. Until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla. Stay safe. Hope everyone's family is safe. We'll catch you in the next video. And thanks for watching.